going on guys, it's EJ here, bringing you something a little different today, a bit of cooking with EJ, so I just went to the gym and I'm making myself a bit of lunch now, so I'm going to show you, bring it down over here, so at the moment I've um, got these chicken tenderloins, which um, I've just seasoned with a bit of uh, basil oregano, a bit of garlic, um, what else do I put in there, salt, pepper, and a bit of paprika, so um, yeah, at the moment we're just uh, sizzling them, so I'm going to be making just like um, some yeah, the chicken tenderloins, I'm going to make some burgers. So over here, I've got some, um, uh, what is it, it's like an aioli sauce. I've got some cheese, I've got my lettuce, I've got some um, tomatoes, and I've got some uh, Spanish onion. And over here, guys, we have we have a big bag of um, wholemeal rolls. So we're just going to cook, keep cooking these uh, chicken tenderloins for a bit more. Like, yeah, obviously I haven't even flipped them yet, so we'll be flipping them in a minute. And then while um, and then once I flip them, I'll start getting things ready. I'll butter the buns, then toast the buns a bit, and we'll go from there. We'll get everything dressed, ready to go. So yeah, and we'll get this lunch cracker lacquer. Okay, guys. So there, I'm just starting to sizzle away nicely now. So um, I'm just going to quickly throw some spread on these, which we'll see, yeah. So I'm going to throw some spread on these, throw them down up under the grill, and then I'm going to start preparing um all my salads and everything that's going to go on, which we've got tomato, lettuce, and onion and on cheese and stuff and the mayonnaise and we'll get these dressed ready to go looking forward to I'm about to flip these in a minute they're looking pretty good they're starting to get white on the sides that's when you know when to start flipping them so yeah we'll flip them in a second awesome alrighty guys so uh, yeah rolls are down in there in the um, oven now so I'm just going to flip these chicken tenders now they should be getting nice and brown so we'll start flipping these over. Yeah, they should have a little bit of brownness and good colour to them. Sorry, it's hard to hold the camera, but yeah, so you can see there's a bit of colour to them. Might need to flip, now that I'm flipping them and I'm moving the chicken around, the pan's heat's going down a bit, so I might turn that up in a second, but yeah. I don't know. I reckon it's going to be pretty damn good. Yeah, we're going to have to put the heat up in that pan in a minute. Okay. Alright, so we've got all them flipped. Let's go over here, where are we? Turn that up a bit. And that will get a bit more heat on it. And now we're going to um, start chopping all this onion and lettuce up. So we'll get to that in a second. Let's go. I usually don't use the outside leaves, I don't like them. Okay, pull those ones up a bit. Okay, Give me one second. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, so let me check them rolls. Yeah, they're getting a bit toasty. Flip them. I'm just flipping the rolls at the moment. They're getting nice and crispy. I'll keep an eye on them. Let me turn that down a little bit. All right. So you probably remember, like, what the hell is this little tiny knife I'm using? But it's like my favorite knife to use. It's nice and easy. And I can cut the round things really quickly. Oh, let's get rid of that rubbish. I'm probably going to make a mess here, but we'll clean that up later. I don't need much lettuce. You're going to be like, well, you're, you're no chef, but oh well. You'll be right. Dice this lettuce up a bit. Watch EJ cut his fingers off. And I need a way bigger chopping board. This thing's completely tiny. I don't need much lettuce. I'm gonna have to throw that in. Okies. Right. I'm not gonna muck around. All right, lettuce done. Chicken's done good. What a mess. Mm. A bit more. The rolls need a bit more toasting. Okay, lettuce done. I really need to get a proper chopping board. I've only got this tiny thing. I'm a single male in the house. What do you expect, guys? Alright. Spanish bread onion. Now, I should know how to cut one of these because they used to... They make the world best knife for this, but it's pretty good. I used to work as a butcher, so... I should know how to peel the bloody... onion. 
and Dyson onion. I'm not good with a knife anymore. I'm going to cut my fingers off. Mm. You know what? I'm, what I'm going to do is, I, I was going to dice it. I might actually even uh, cook this onion a little bit because this chicken's starting to look good. I'm going to move that chicken around in the pan over there. I'm actually going to just if I grab the phone here, guys, spin that around. I'll actually just get the onion and break it up a bit like this. And I'll just do half a moon and I'll fry that onion a bit. Of onion. I, I believe it um, pretty good. Oh, and there's nothing wrong. I don't mind eating a bit of raw onion, nothing wrong with that. Alright, cook that onion. I'll put a tiny bit of butter in there in, there in a minute just to, so it helps them get a bit brown. But I'm only going to saute it, I'm not going to cook them mentally. And as you can see, my mess everywhere. There's my lettuce. What an absolute mess, I know, but it will be cleaned up. And I got my onion that done. I just got to do my tomato. Oh god, I need to get these rolls out immediately. Let's get that done right now. And. One second. Right, they're starting to get pretty nice and toasty now, so we'll grab them out. One, two. Right. There's my rolls. Might be a little bit crispy on the outside, but you'll be right. Alright, so I need to turn this pan up a bit. That chicken's looking good. It's got a nice Got a real nice feel to it, like it, it's like that's pretty much cooked for now. So I don't want to cook that too much more. I just need to sort these onions a little bit. But anyway, over to here, we're gonna get the um, we're gonna put some garlic aioli on both sides. So let's go, let's do that first, all right? Hey guys, that's the guys, radio. Time to put the uh, aioli on. So good, generous amount. I like sauce. So good, generous amount on each side. And geez, don't knock it on the bloody floor, come on. Hey, we live pretty rough here, man. The five second rule, 100%. Alright, so I've got some aioli on there. Alright, so. Next, we've got the bottom of the bun. So now I'm going to put a bit of lettuce on here. So grab a bit of the lettuce. What an absolute mess. But it's all. It will taste good, trust me. It's going to taste good. Alright, I've got the lettuce on there. <laughs> Look at the state of the place. I need to start cleaning up. But alright, there's the lettuce right here. I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. And then I'll start chopping up these onions. And I've got to, I'm going to start removing that chicken from the pan in a second. Alright. And so far, I think it's looking pretty damn good. I'm no professional chef, but I reckon it'll be not too bad. Alright, so yeah, let me clean up this a bit and then we'll get back into it. Righty guys, so yeah, we're almost there now. So I've just got the tomato here, got to cut. Now this is a really nice big tomato, so I reckon just one nice big slice of them each. So I'm just going to, yeah, I'll slice that up, I'll throw it on the burger, and then our sautéed onions, they're sautéed enough now. A bit of brownness and stuff, and then we'll throw the chicken and we'll get this um, burgers uh, wrapped up, eh? Okay, dokey everybody, so yeah, we're back. I've got the tomato on the rolls now, as you can see here. Um, I just realised good old EJ made a mistake, and I've dressed it completely wrong. I haven't worked at Macca's when I was younger, and I still screw up burgers, but yeah. So we've got a tomato on there, so the next thing I'm going to do is grab some of this onion here. Some of this nice sautéed onion. I'm going to throw that on there like that. Let me just change hands here. Left-handed time. Bit of onions. That's a lot of onion. Rip, it's all on the floor. Oh, I'm... Ah! Yo, this is EJ. This is me. Grow in the military and stuff like this quick, easy quick and easy, just get it done. Alright, now, of course, what we need is some of these chicken tenderloins. Throw them on there. On there. Yeah, I'll just leave it on the burgers and bring the chicken tenderloins over. So we've got another one on there. Oh, plenty of chicken tenderloins to go on. Get another one on there. I do apologise for the absolute horrible camera. It's hard filming by yourself, holding things yourself and stuff. I ain't, but I'm just going to put two on there for the time being. And yeah guys, the next thing, the last thing all you need, a couple of pieces of nice non-processed good cheese. Throw some cheese on there like that. One, two, 
Now, I did mess this one up, so I'm going okay. This is going to be a bit of fun now, so I sort of missed this up. So, all right, so then you get your crown, which I think this one got a tiny bit burnt, so rip the dream on that one. A little bit burnt. Everyone make it, yeah, I'll even show it. I burnt the hell out of that a little bit, but it's still good. All right, so we've got one there with onions falling out every bloody way. And then the second one I sort of messed up. So I'm going to have to put the top on like that and flip it over in a second. All right, so let's flip that over and throw it up over on this plate here like this. All right, put it on the plate. I did burn the tops a bit, but I'm going to scrape that off. <laughs> but that's it. Yo, who cares? I ain't no master chef. I never am. I'm never going to be no cooking channel, but that's good enough for me. And there we have it. EJ's lunch. Um, I don't know what the hell I can call it. Some sort of chicken burger or something. With some nice crispy little burnt, nice crispy little burnt tops. Rip the dream on that, but yeah. But yeah, guys, that's, um, I know this was just a bit of fun. I thought I'd do something completely different. Well, yeah, but I want to try something different. My cat, you know my phone's not the best and stuff like that, but yeah. Thanks everyone for watching Absolute Legends. My eyes are stinging a little from all the, well, the onion and stuff. I still, I don't like cutting onions as much. Even though I've cut it a meal, but yeah. Thanks for watching Absolute Legends, and I'll catch you in the next video. Yo, what's going on guys? DJ, how's it going everyone? Good morning. It's currently Saturday morning here about 8.15. Just about to head off to Canberra, aka ACT, the capital of Australia, for our summer nights today. Uh, yeah, it's the biggest car meet in Australia. We can't wait to get there. It's absolutely awesome. I go there pretty much nearly every single year. It's like a tradition of mine. So yeah, I can't wait to get there. It's going to be absolute awesome. So I'll catch us when I get there, guys. Let's go. Yo, guys. What the fuck can I say? Fucking Australia. Fucking kangaroos. Trust me. The next kangaroo I see, I will get in a fucking box and match with it. I swear to God. You're so, boxing. You're fucking boxing. Mm, 100%. Yeah, my brother. What the fuck is worse than one flat? Mm. You fix one flat? Exactly. Fucking two. Two flats. Who the fuck has two spare tyres? It's absolute bullshit. Like, coming around this corner, we, we just got into Canberra. Fucking you see my line there with the friggin' tyres and shit. And friggin', like, yeah, it's an absolute joke. Like, I'm pissed. Like, fucking, like, yeah, it's an absolute joke. Like, we hit the kangaroo. I think it's dead back there. Fucking Skippy's gone. Yeah, Skippy's gone, but yeah. So we're waiting for NRM. We, if we had one, we'd be on our way, but oh, we're going to put... But as you can see, look, let me flip this over. He went right up underneath the bloody tyre and that and friggin' bent everything and everything. So, yeah, an absolute mess. So if we get to summer house, it's going to be late. Like, if this guy, if this tyre doesn't pump up when the NRMA comes, we've got to get a tow truck and shit. Mill dolls, fucking over it. I'm done. I don't... I don't I, yeah. So yeah, if you don't like swearing, don't watch this, but yeah, this is fucking bullshit, I'm done. Yo guys, I don't know if you can see this, but fucking cops just, just tackled this guy over here and shit and arrested him. He just got in a mental cop chase, he parked his car there, jumped out his car and went mental. He's calling in, there's going to be a mill cops here soon. Uh, there was just a cop chase right in front of us, the guy came straight after him. This is the well, most well, mental well, vlogger. Welcome fucking Australia! Well. <laughs> yeah, nah, the cop got him, he's getting arrested, he's done. He's gone. Yeah, bloody hell. Fucking hell, shit day for everyone, bloody hell. Oh, it's mostly everyone's favourite car. SS Camaro with a mentalist engine. It's got about 1700 horsepower. Let's go. Watch the instantaneous smoke, yellow smoke it should be.
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, waiting for a feed, those mongrels. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, that's... Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. We'll, yeah, we'll be taking the horse for a bit of run soon. And that's pretty much it. And then a bit later on, we'll be heading down to my mum's. All right. Peace. Bye. Oh, yeah. Rob said... Hey, Ethan. Huh? Rob said... He said... Um, he's quiet. Cool, huh? He's good. He bought Christian Callan, you can tell the people he's bought Christian Callan running yeah, there. Yeah, I know. Into the Miracle Mile. I know that. Yeah, he's a great horse. Quiet bugger though, look at him. Hey? Eh? He just he follows you around like a big doggy. Eh? Yeah. Here we go. There's Con, aka Tightrope, that won the other day. Then you got this two year old here. He's actually a really good bred horse. He's a Christian Cullen horse. He's, um,. He's a two-year-old. His brother actually is like the leading two-year-old in Australia at the moment. But yeah, this bugger sort of can't go. But he's out for a spell. I'm going to break him in and try him as a three-year-old. But yeah, he's like a... He was like a $100,000 a year. And so yeah, pretty expensive horse, that one. Yeah, but they're, they're just waiting for a feed. But Con will be going out for some exercise soon. Getting ready to put old Con on the um, jog car now. He's a nice-looking horse. He's nice-coloured. Nice bay horse, he's not, he's real quiet as well. He can pick up, grab me and pick his feet up like nothing. And stuff like that. Yeah. Really nice yeah, we're gonna throw him on the jog cart a bit and take him for a few laps around the track. Let's just... Do you have to have a light on it? Yeah, the light's on, why? Do you have to have the light and take pictures? Oh no, it's just so it looks better. Oh. See him running around here. Ah, it's a car. You can see like all... Hey? See all his muscles and everything. No, you can't see his head, can you? Yeah, if I hold it like this, you can see his head through the oh. window like that. Say happy new year! Good boy! <laughs> He's going crazy. He's excited for the new year. Lots of you presents and yummy biscuits and everything for you, buddy. Alright, he's going to go back outside in a minute. But yeah, like I said, everyone, big happy new year. You guys are absolute legends. Thanks for all the support this uh, last six, seven months um, on my channel. It's very much appreciated. And yeah, I love you guys um, so much. You guys are absolute champions. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and peace, I'll catch you later. And anything you wish for in the um, new year, I hope it comes true. Yeah, and like I said, you guys are absolute bloody legends. I'll catch you later. Happy new year once again, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Yo, what's going on guys? EJ here. I've got a pretty awesome little video for you here today. So quick backstory. I grew up um, with racehorses in my family growing up. My dad trained them. My godfather, Darren Hancock, is one of the um, leading trainers and drivers in Australia. Yeah, and so I grew up training horses um, all my life, pretty much, so it's pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm going to show you a race um, tonight, which my dad won, which I'm really happy for him. Keep an eye out in the race, number five tightrope. So yeah, absolute awesome, guys. So happy. And yeah, a little bit of a backstory. So yeah, thanks for checking this video out, guys, and peace, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. About to run over the 1,720 metres. Inside runner Montana Baron, starters happy they're racing. Montana Baron bounced out well with Superbet in the early stages. It's better me made a line of three. 
and up to make a line of four is Harry's Day Out as they leave the straight. Just in behind those is Future Stride, Tight Rope and the Picks and then Skewbridge Road and settling at the tail of the field as Empty Envelope well, was keen early and as they travel into the back straight now the leader is Super Bet. It went to the lead over It's Better Me who works around Montana Baron and they were followed next in behind those runners by Harry's Day Out. The Picks, the Pegs and then came further back to Tight Rope and then we've got Future Stride and Skewbridge Road and last of all is the veteran pacer Empty Envelope. They come off the back now and only five lengths from top end to tail, a 7.4 lead time and that was followed up by a 29-7 first quarter and the leader is Superbet, one of the roughies that led the way. In second spot is Tight Rope, third locked away Montana Baron and It's Better Me gets a gun trip, one out and one back as they wheel into the lane for the bell. Back on the inside is the Picks, three markers fifth and then we've got Harry's Day Out and Skewbridge Road and the last pair of Future Stride and back with it is Empty Envelope. They greet the judge around to go. Future Stride takes off three deep. Empty Envelope's going to try and get the piggy back home. 30.7 that next quarter. 60.4 the half. The leader super bet. Tightrope second. On the inside, Montana Baron. It's better me. He's being chased along. And they were followed then by the picks. Further out, Future Stride. Harry's Day out on Skewbridge Road. And still at the tail of the field is Empty Envelope, but still only six lengths first to last. Down the back straight. Superbet gives back as a side, about to be joined by Tightrope. And then came Montana Baron. It's better me and the picks. Future Stride continues to grind home. And the deepest is going to be Empty Envelope as they near the home turn. These two still locked in battle. It's Superbet and Tightrope. Not much between them. They were followed then by Future Stride. It's better me. And to the extreme outside is Empty Envelope, but still a two horse war on the outside now. Tightrope goes up to Superbet. And then It's better me. Followed by Future Stride and Empty Envelope down the outside, but the last little bit coming away is Tightrope, and Tightrope goes home to score. What's going on, guys? EJ here. Just a quick uh, announcement. I don't know if I'll be streaming tonight because of uh, mental blackouts, and I'm out to show you why. We just got hit by a mental, like, pretty much hurricane, like, and I'm going to show you examples right now. So if I flip this around, here's one of the trees that fell down. There's the road. And I don't know how big it's going to show on a thing, but look, look at it. See this? Look at that hole in the ground. That, in comparison, if I stand to it, if I stand like this, is like higher than me. The roots on this tree is like over six foot high. It's absolute mental. Like, my days, like the firewood in that is absolute mental. Like, but yeah, and it's like this everywhere. There's trees down and branches all along the roads, everything like that. But yeah, this tree is mental. Lucky it didn't land on anything. This would kill or crush a car in about 10 seconds. But yeah, guys, so that's pretty... I, I don't think I'll be streaming. I don't know when power's going to be back on because I'd say power lines are snapped somewhere and they've had to shut everything off. So yeah, there's a quick update. All right, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace, and hopefully everyone's all safe and no one got injured. All right, catch you later. See you.